So when we talk about drawing angles in standard position, we need to talk about coterminal angles as well because position is important. And sometimes we have different angles that give us the same position. So those are what we call coterminal angles. So if I were to go negative 225 degrees, I need to go in this direction because that's negative. There's my zero. I always start at that line. And I'm going to go backwards 225 degrees. It locates this position right here. Okay, that 225 degrees negative locates that spot. That's really the most important thing is that position because this is standard position. Now, what's secondary but is useful is this triangle. Okay, some people use that reference. That's called a reference triangle because that is a reference for us when going back to our triangle trick, but that's again secondary because we really are more interested in that position than the triangle. Now coterminal angle here is another angle measured that gets the same spot. Now I can go in the positive direction here. If I go positive 135 degrees, 135 degrees, I'm going to end up in the exact same spot. So 135 degrees is considered a coterminal angle. I can keep going. I can go around a one more full ro rotation. And essentially, every 360 degrees, I'm going to hit the same spot. So I can add 360. I get 495 as a coterminal angle. I can go backwards 360. Okay, so backwards 360 from here is going to go another 360. So it's going to be negative uh, 585 degrees. Okay, and those are all coterminal angles. So what about 290? Well, 290 is going to go 180, 270, and a little bit past. Somewhere around here, it's going to locate that position. Okay, so that's going to be positive 290 degrees. Positive goes in that direction. Okay, actually, maybe I'll just draw, draw that in green to keep it consistent. Okay, so 290 degrees, I'm going to draw in green here. That's positive, going in that direction, locating that position. Okay, and zero positive is in that direction. Now I can get a coterminal angle by going, keep on going around, or I can go backwards. And I can go backwards 70 degrees, and 70 degrees represents a coterminal angle. So it's important to understand the direction of the angle to find the position, and also that different angles give us the same position. So when we talk about negative 65 degrees in standard position, I'm going to draw that in to start. There's negative 65 somewhere in here, somewhere about there. That's about negative 65. I'm just kind of estimating. And it's going to locate that position. Okay, I'm going to draw my little reference triangle there. I don't really need that reference triangle, but I, I want to use that as reference. So we want to now talk about this position, that blue dot, that position. And I want to find the position that shares the same y coordinate as negative 65. Well, that y coordinate is right about there. And if I want to stay on the circle, that position has to be right there. And I want to know what angle gets me to that position. Okay, well, we can find this using some symmetry because there's definitely symmetry. I can then fold along this line and it's symmetrical. So some people might say, well, this is 25 degrees in here and that's 270 degrees so i can go backwards 25 to 200 what would that be 245 degrees okay that would work we can get to positive 245 degrees that way some of you may think well these two angles in here this angle matches a 65 here and so if i start at 180 degrees i can add the 65 degrees and i'll get to 245 degrees that way but regardless of how you do it okay you can, as long as you're using symmetry, we're going to get to the right spot. Now, there is a way we can do this and to use actual positioning. Okay? And the way we do it, and we don't need to do this now, but we will start doing this more, is I can use this position as negative 65. And I know that going in this direction is the same as the opposite is going in this direction. So I can, the symmetry is from 0 and 180. So 0 to 6, negative 65 is the same as 180 
going opposite. Well, negative 65, the opposite of negative 65 is positive 65. So my angle then becomes using the symmetry point 180, and I'm going to go the opposite of my position to get the 245. So that's another way to get that angle. Okay, so the next part says find a standard position angle that in quadrant 2 that has the same reference triangle. Well, if it has the same reference triangle, we know it has, has some symmetry here. So there's my reference triangle here. There's my reference triangle there. Now, they are separated by 180 degrees. So I can either subtract 180, okay, going in this direction, or I can add 180 degrees going in this direction. I'm going to add 180 degrees and get 115 degrees. So this angle here is going to be 115 degrees that locates that same position that gives me that symmetry.